Learning to walk is one of life's big adventures for babies. They're shaky at first, then there's that sheer joy that spreads over a child's face when they realize they've achieved two-legged mobility. Jill's guest today has the results of a special study on babies and walking. Jill. Peter, there really are some very important questions to ask and to have answered when your toddler gets to toddling around. And Dr. William Sears is a practicing pediatrician in Pasadena, California, and he's also the author of several child-rearing books. I'd like to thank you very much for coming to News Center 7. Thank you, Jill. It's good to be here. I understand you've been to several cities and that yes. this is the last. You're on your way back home to your wife and six children. And family of six. And right. that's a lot of feet to fit. Right. I was just thinking <laughs> about that. You've certainly been through this a lot of times. Yes. Um, are there some myths? What, what are the big questions? The number one question that new parents have is when their baby begins to walk, what type of shoe should I buy for the beginning walker? Mm -hmm. A rubber-soled sneaker? are a leather shoe. So we undertook a study to answer that question, right. which is better? And we found that babies beginning to walk, walk better and they walk more safely in a flexible quality leather shoe versus a rubber sole sneaker. The old fashioned, and this one's a low top but or, or a high top too, they're both about About the same. Good. And the, the main reason is leather bends better. In fact, mm -hmm. a kid parent say good shoe is like a good parent. You have to know where to bend right. and where to hold firm. That's a good way. And what our study analogy. showed is that babies fell five right. times more in a sneaker let's, than they did leather shoes. Let's show people. You brought some videotape with you. Yes. I think we could probably show. Here's a little bit of a look at the study that you did. This, this was done study. in Boston, very scientifically. The kids are all plugged into yes, uh, they are. electrodes. And this is showing how we hooked babies up and studied their little gait as they walked, showing that babies in a leather shoe have a nice lift off a nice, smooth, rhythmic gait. Whereas when we put sneakers on these babies, they tend to fall a lot. In fact, babies would fall five times more in a rubber sole sneaker versus a quality, flexible leather shoe. You really wanted this to be scientific, didn't There's you? There's, see Boom. how much he falls in the, in the um, sneaker. There he goes now, again. Actually, some of some of the uh, literature that you sent to me said that actually a child doesn't really need any shoe, except that then they'll step on something and cut themselves. That That's right. Actually, the foot will develop just fine, right? The foot will develop just fine without shoes. But when you watch babies walk, babies look ahead. They don't look down. And those uncautious right. little feet are likely to run into anything. What, what age are most babies starting to walk now, Dr. Sears? Around a year. Between mm -hmm. 12 and 13 months, babies take their first steps. Uh -huh. Now, you, there is a booklet about any kind of questions that, that a parent might have about buying shoes for their children. We want to show everyone the address. If you would like to get Dr. Sears' uh, booklet, write to Baby's Feet, Stride Right Box, Post Office Box 2633, North Quincy, Massachusetts. The zip code is 02269. And lastly, are there any real remarkable changes in parenting in the last, say, 10 years or so? Philosophically. The biggest change is that more mothers now are breastfeeding. And not only they're breastfeeding more, they're breastfeeding longer. And I'm optimistic, Jill, about the children of the future because children now are being held more, they're being touched more. I think we're getting more into parenting. Terrific. Thank you, Dr. Sears, for Thank joining you. us. Peter.